So what we have written on this scroll is a syntax tree, an analysis of a sentence from the second part of Virginia Woolf's To the Lighthouse. Uh, the tree was put together by Dr. Howard Williams from Teachers College, Columbia University, of the uh, TESOL and Applied Linguistics faculty. And just so that others, st I've just won this scroll in a raffle at an end of the year celebration we just had. And so that other students might be able to in enjoy this, uh, I would like to sort of document th this, this scroll and film it um, so that others can, can see it and have a record of it. Uh, so the quote reads as follows. Also the sea tosses itself and breaks itself, and should any sleeper, fancying that he might find on the beach an answer to his doubts, a sharer of his solitude, throw off his bedclothes and go down by himself to walk on the sand, no image with semblance of serving in divine promptitude comes readily to hand, bringing the night to order and making the world reflect the compass of the soul. There's Dr. William's signature down there in the lower right-hand corner. And, okay, I'm just going to keep my distance a little bit because otherwise it gets too blurry, but I'll just pan slowly over all the twists and turns in the tree. Those of you who took advanced syntax uh, should be able to recognize, even from a distance, what some of these symbols and letters should re represent. There we are, all the way down to the final word. And there's a bird's eye view once again. Wow! What a work of art in so many ways. Thank you, Dr. Williams.